What you guys got another video here for you on how to fix Windows 11 start menu and taskbar problems. Now we all know that Windows 11 doesn't have the best start menu or even the taskbar which I mentioned in my previous video where Microsoft have said that they are not going to be doing any work about the positioning of the taskbar or any other work to do with it. So basically what that leaves you with is a pretty rubbish uh, taskbar and a pretty rubbish start menu. But Start All Back is for Windows 11. It's a pretty good option and it costs $4.99. This will solve all of your problems with some of the issues that you may be having with your Windows 11 uh, Start Menu or Taskbar. So I'm going to get this installed on the system and we're going to go through some of the settings and I'll show you exactly what you can do. And yes, you can position your Taskbar on the left, on the right or at the top and it also fixes the Taskbar uh, right click context menu which you can use so this is what it's going to look like when you get it installed you will see remastered 7 here and it will change your uh, menu system to look like remastered 7 or you can do kind of 10 here which is another version like this I prefer the proper 11 and it just changes it to a more rounded smoother polished look in my personal opinion you can make it larger or smaller and uh, depending on how many icons you want there, you can also customize it. I'll show you how to do all that in this video. So let's go to the Start Menu section first. As you can see here, we have the uh, visual layout here, visual styles, and we have a load of check mark boxes which we can use to customize. Now, also, if you'll notice, as soon as I've installed this, I've got my Task Manager on the taskbar again. I can right-click and access the Task Manager from here, whereas Microsoft don't allow you to do that with their start menu and taskbar setup. So if you want to get that function back, you can install something like uh, start all back here, which will remedy and resolve that problem for you. The visual styles is here. You can change these to mix and match between the start menu as well. You can change the icon sizes and the icon counts as well up there. And you can add uh, the search in here as well with the fly out for more search results. If you want to add that feature down here is the uh, side menu where you can customize it so for instance down here you can add more features on for instance like the control panel is there you can remove it if you want to and add network or add some other features like command prompt just so you can get quick access to those and you can see the uh, control panel has been uh, blacked out here which is quite nice so the customization part for the start menu is really good you can add and remove whatever you like so whatever you use the most of you can just add them to your menu for instance you might want network you might want control panel you might want to add a videos tab like this one here and it will add your videos tab to it where it will open up uh, the video section for you you can also um, like this you can also do some other things like uh, run box uh, command prompt uh, windows powershell a load of different ones here they're all listed here settings and you can see windows tools devices and printers depending on what you want to link to your menu you can select whatever you want and remove what you don't want this is the uh, beauty of this customization of the uh, menu here and i particularly like to have the network section here so i can get access to my nas and stuff like that really quickly as well i do like those features to be added to the menu so down here you can set the default values and you can also uh, change the power button to do whatever you like for instance you can have it to shut down uh, you can switch user you can sign out you can do whatever you want and set this up now moving on to the taskbar this is a really important area for a lot of people you can change uh, the start button here or add your own start buttons in i prefer to use this one here and again we have different areas which we can uh, mess around with like visual uh, styles uh, icon sizes and things like that you can see it's changed the icon sizes and you can also uh, change the margins between them you can make them small or extra large depending on how your eyesight is or how you want them Maybe you've got a large monitor and you want to make the icons a little bit bigger. Uh, and that's what you can do. So really useful little feature here uh, for the start all back. Again, down here, this is a really uh, good one. This one's been just been added to the actual tool here. This allows you to position your taskbar to either the left, the top or the right, just like so. And it works flawlessly. Now, in my previous video, I was talking about how Microsoft have no plans of allowing you to do this to add this to the top or the left or the right which is a bit of a annoyance for a lot of people that have been using it like that for 20 plus years 
So if you're one of those people that do want to have it in this position, you can. As long as you install Start All Back, you'll be able to use your taskbar on the left, right, or at the top. So a great little feature added there. I do like it, and uh, it works pretty good. So that is the uh, taskbar positioning part here. And again, you've got all your other areas here which you can check mark into, like centered um, taskbar. You can also do centered task icons. You can segment it out as well, like so, and it will segment it out. You can also make it transparent if you want to by using the dynamic transparency as well. And you can get access to your taskbar down there. Now, unfortunately, this is not free. So for $5, you can solve a lot of the annoyances that Windows 11 has, like the start menu and the taskbar. Now, let's go on to the Explorer. I'm not particularly uh, too bothered about the Explorer. I'm getting used to it now. But if you don't like it, you can go back and change it to a Windows 10 sort of style by just clicking on the Windows 10 ribbon UI. And you click on this and open this back up. And uh, when we close this off and reopen it, let's have a look. There we go. We've gone back to Windows 10 look. And you can even go back to Windows 7 if you wish and have it on there. So all you need to do is just reopen this up here. And you've got the Windows 7 uh, look here. I prefer the Windows 11 look. So I'm just going to leave it on Windows 11. And again, you can also make some minor changes here by using the check mark boxes. Now, the colorize everything on the accent color. So you can change your accent color. And this will be on your... Uh, for instance, your little menu system here, and it will also color all of this. I've got mine on dark mode, so I'm not going to mess around with that. But you can change it to whatever accent color you want across your platform, whether it will be in your Explorer, inside your notepads, the top of the bar up the top. It will change all of that, and also the menu system will be changed as well. I'm going to leave mine as uh, stock. You can also colorize and customize the appearance by going into the advanced area here, you can see use custom uh, start menu coloring, and you can also do the taskbar coloring. So you can match everything the way you like by putting the check marks in here, click, clicking on the color palette and changing it to a color scheme of your choice. So you can really get a really nice sort of looking theme without doing a lot of work. And you can also customize the taskbar as well here. And you can use the sliders to slide the color and the transparency up and down here as well. Pretty nice little feature to add into, into this little tool here. Now, again, we've also got tweak window settings here as well, and there's a bunch of little check marks here. I'm not going to go through every single one of these, but you can see here uh, it's pretty useful to have these here. And that's pretty much it. You can literally pay $4.99 to get a, a key, but it does give you a trial period of 100 days. So if you want to give it a try for 100 days, by all means, download it and install it on your PC. After 100 days, it will just stop working, and then you can uninstall the program if you're not uh, convinced that it works. If you want to turn it off anytime, you just turn it off here with the Start menu and do the little rocker button here, and it will turn it off just like so. I think it's an awesome addition to Windows, and it gives you back some sort of uh, normality with the operating system if you're not liking the Start menu or the taskbar settings. And as I said, $4.99 is not a lot of money, uh, to get a better peace of mind with your start menu and taskbar settings. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. So that is how you can fix a lot of the early niggles with the old taskbar and with your start menu by installing Start All Back. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. This video was requested by a few people in the comment section, so I wanted to retouch on this program because I have covered it before, but there's been some new features added to it. Just want to give a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and a special shout out for Geo Sam and Welsh Tony One who have joined my tier three YouTube members group. Thank you very much.